Good morning, everyone. I am scrapbooking today, Skylar playing in the leaves, and I've got three silly pictures. And um, first of all, I've taken and I was going to mat them in white, but I remember I bought the, um, it's called Basic Book 2. It's got all these beautiful neutrals in there. And so I ended up um, matting them in this paper here. It kind of almost looks like um, cardboard on the back and then this looks like kind of like um, a little bit of mixed media kind of look. Okay, so I am going to be using this paper here and this is number two, and this is a cozy evening. This is the um, my collection obsession for this month. And I'm gonna be using the leaves, and I'm gonna be using this one that looks like a grocery bag. I, I really love this, it's like one of the papers I've used a lot. So when I, I tore it strategically so that I could um, still have part of it, and because I also had this part because I've used it for the outside before. And so here's that piece. And then I've torn the leaves also. And so I'm going to be using that. Oh, and this paper here, I cut it so that um, I kind of cut out of the center because that way I still have these things that I can cut out. And... Um, the bird and these flowers that I can also cut out and because you know I love the embellishments also so I'm gonna put this in here and I just um, save myself I think I did like three and a half on the side and three up here so I'm gonna put this here in the middle and um, since I um, kind of kind of overlap this other I think I probably need to and I think this way was up but you know it's one of those papers I think it looks good either way because now I don't really remember <laughs> okay and then um, when I probably want to just kind of rough this up a little bit more I mean it's like if you're gonna tear it you might as well um, make it look a little more worn. That's what I always think. And I like the little bit of curling. It just kind of gives you a little more shadow, which makes it look more dimensional. And let me flip it around and do this side too. Oh yeah, that was the side because I know it, my dip is kind of in a, it's almost in the same spot, I think. Okay, I think I've got it all kind of rolled up a little. And then I'll kind of do the same with this. I, I just love these papers, they're just gorgeous. I love the turquoise and the browns together. These like russet colors. Almost done. <laughs> Should have done this ahead. Okay, I think that's good. Um, now let's see. I think I'll put this side's darker, so I think I'm gonna put this on this side so more of that shows. So I'm putting that there in the middle. And I've got a flower I'm gonna put up here, so I want to make sure that I have plenty of room for that. Oh yeah, it's good. Okay, so I think about there. So I think I, think I want it like this, so it's kind of drapey. Okay, and so I'm gonna put Skylar on here, and I think I'm gonna put this in the middle, 
and this on one side and this on the other just because she looks like oh I'm in the leaves <laughs> you know I, how my imagination is like okay I wanted to put this first just because of the way I want to layer them but um, it just doesn't it looks like the story goes like this <laughs> And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to put her here. And this one I want perfectly straight. Well, as perfectly as, you know, I can do it. Which will be, oh yeah, that looks close enough. <laughs> okay. And lots, of, you know, it's like sometimes I'm um, scrapbooking um, things from 15 years ago. And when I've got this little deer, and I'm going to stick him over here. So I guess I need to have it where it's not going to be off the page. So you know what? I need to push this over more. I forgot about that little deer I want in here. Now I know I've seen deer even in the middle of Indianapolis. I know they're everywhere. Okay. One time um, I was going over to my mother-in-law's. Me and my sister were together and all of a sudden our, our lights hit this doe running through the the neighborhood it was like it was quite shocking <laughs> beautiful but shocking okay and I imagine it was pretty shocking to her too okay and I'm gonna put this mostly straight but just a little tilt on it okay and um, I'm just going to call it, it's fall. And, and uh, my um, letters are burlap and they're from Thickers. Or they're Thickers, whatever, whatever you call it. <laughs> Who are they actually from? They're Thickers from American Crafts, okay. And I'll probably end up having to put glue on these because I think they don't stick real good. But, you know, me eyes just stick them on there first and then <laughs> deal with it later. Okay. I thought about saying it's follow you all. But then I would be total, I, actually I wouldn't have had enough. I've got two sets of these and I wouldn't even have had enough else. It's funny how it's like you run out of um, certain letters. And it's like, how can it be that I'm always out of certain letters? I guess that's a good reason to die cut them. Sick. Okay, and then I've got this floral that was cut from the cut apart sheet. And I'm just going to kind of stick it up here where I kind of curved down. And so now you're not even going to see that curve. But, um, and I'll end up having to put dimensionals underneath it because of the way that there is stuff there, or you know, stuff pulling it up. But I'll just do that later. Okay, and I've got these. So this is like the perfect opportunity to use these brown leaves. And it's like I always um, need more embellishments. But I guess that's why I will be cutting them out of the... Um, this sheet with these things. So I will be cutting things out of there by the time that I get to the end of this. 
because this is just the first layout. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that right in here. And I've got these little, they're kind of like um, pods. I don't know if they're pre pre flower or after flower. I'm not sure, but they're cute, so I'm adding them. And then I've got two more of those, so I'm going to add those. This is kind of like flower arranging. Ah, don't stick to my picture. Kind of like flower arranging. So I like that. Okay, and then I got a smaller one. So I'm going to stick that to where it's just a little bit higher. So it kind of gives it more dimension. I've got a little bird. So I'm going to stick that in here. And I just love the little images from the, these collections. They're so pretty. So I'm just going to stick this bird right in here. Like maybe it came to eat some of the little berries. And I've got an acorn. Are, has the neighbor's trees dropped acorns yet? No. Nope. I've not seen any. It's so weird. I would have thought that they would have dropped them by now. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck that in here where you can still see it, but it's just a different level. Because these I'm definitely going to have to stick some dimensional tape behind it. And then I've got the deer. And uh, where's my tape? There it is. Okay, I will have to, or my tape, my glue, because I will have to put some glue behind the antlers or the legs, because otherwise I'll have to do it when it's glued down, and that would be difficult. I was helping my friend um, work on graduation pictures the other day. So, um, it's for her grandson, so I think I'll um, do a layout share of the ones that we we're working on later on in the week. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck this in here so she, he just looks like he's hanging out there with Skylar by the leaves. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna, you know, I'm working on my triangle here. So over here, I'm gonna use these flowers again. And which way do I want these ones going? Because I've got a little squirrel. So I'm gonna use that. And I've got some brown leaves that I'm gonna stick like this. I think I'm gonna put it this direction. Sometimes the, the flowers look very directional, but it's kind of nice when they don't because that way you can put them wherever you want them. I want this squirrel kind of here on the edge. And it looks like it's eating a nut. I think we had, uh, there was a squirrel, he had, um, he had, I want to say he's planted some apples. <laughs> he, he buried some apples in our yard and then the other day and you know they're they look pretty shabby. I don't I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what it was because I don't think anybody else has any nuts around here that he would have been um, burying. But um, it's like he went out there and dug it up and he ran behind the Miss Kim bush. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick this down in here. And I've got another acorn for this. And I want to put it by the squirrel. Or by this leaf here. Maybe I'll put it there and put it up on a dimensional. 
because that way it'll just be a different type than the other things. And where is my dimensionals? Here it is. Is that the right size? Yes, perfect. Kind of look like it just kind of fell in there in those leaves. Okay. And then, and I can see that. Oh, well, I'll glue underneath all this. Definitely need to glue this down because it's already popped up. This one was, this was totally out of the package. Okay. Okay, there. And then I've got these chocolate brown enamel dots from Gina Marie and you know you got to watch where you put them when you got critters because you don't want them to look like droppings yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> that's what Janet told us <laughs> and I'm thinking oh yeah that's true <laughs> especially brown ones In the summertime, we had a doe run right through our garden. I bet you she didn't go out to the highway. Hopefully she turned around before that. Did you see her any other days? Husband? No, she ran to cross the street over to the neighbor's house. Oh, that's right. But I think she went over by that cornfield. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Okay, and I'm going to put a couple over here. Just because I think that would be pretty. Okay. And then a couple up in here. Okay, tuck one. There. Isn't this collection just beautiful? I just, it's just, it's gorgeous. I love all the colors in it. So pretty. Okay, I think that's it. So, and then I will put some journaling down in here, probably right here. All right. So I will be back tomorrow with, I don't know what, it'll be a surprise to me and you. Thanks for watching. There'll be close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.